in a web interface. So you don't need to open the model with maybe someone you know takes several minutes to open, but you can access it directly from the web. What we want to do is to move in the pyramids from data to information and arrive to knowledge thanks to some application like classification prediction. Next. So the problem are two. The first, who of you actually is delivering a BIM model? Who is required by contract to deliver a BIM model? Okay, that's super cool. Because like in my experience, we are required to deliver PDF so far. So that's our final delivery. And um, another problem that we have is the data. How we can have uh, actually data to use uh, for this application? Because we released the project open source, but where are the data? These are the two problems that we solve with this quality control of the model. So right now, our project and the information in the project are static. They reside in the mind of the designer. They don't go. And uh, where actually this information go? They go in this PDF that is actually the black hole of information. They are lost entirely. So all these efforts are gone. And how we can actually cover? We need to assure like the manager or the quality control of our model. So we need to avoid this. And how we can do that? Preserve the integrity of the model. So this is a project, is a web dashboard has different parameters, like the families, the size of the family, the size of the model, how big is the, the model, how many times people synchronize, how many minutes they spend in synchronizing. So after we, we see all these metrics for each Revit model, we can decide uh, where to operate. Right now in my company, we have 2,000 Revit model uploaded here for 300 projects. So when they ask us, okay, let us know which model need to be prioritized. We had a problem. We need to open each tab in the web and understand which one. So what actually our developer Daniel was able to do is an aggregate query with Mongo to actually tell us which one need to be prioritized. But how we can know which model need to be prioritized? We start with a simple query related to the views. So specifically, it was views on ship. This one on on the main problem that we can actually solve is to delete the views that are not on sheets in Revit project, that are not useful, so we can delete. And so, this show how we work with Mongo a database and to create this uh, aggregate query. So you can see from, from the next slide how actually Mission Control works, so that's why we want to explain to you. And uh, we have the total number of views the views on sheet, and also the date in which we create the sheet. So all this data have a the specific timestamp on it, which this can help to create time series to make prediction of the model. So moving forward, we can see how we can solve the problem of the data, because we weren't allowed to use the data of our companies, so we need to use data augmentation. So we try to go really further to explore deep learning model using PyTorch, the yeah, framework developed by Facebook, uh, and we found out uh, this amazing solution that is actually called FakerJS. So this produces a thousand amount of fake data in our model that we can train the machine to predict in a, an accurate way, and then we can do only with five level codes. So this how. You can just press a button, you create fake data, and you can train your model with this. So it's just a funny way to show that you need this data, but you don't need actually to develop something, but we want to provide this as a service. So this was the first solution. The second part is related to the views. We want to provide this confidence of which model need to be audited. So we have a percentage, let's say QA, quality control status needed. So if overpass, let's say 65%, is required the audit of the model, so the purge of the views that are not on sheet. So going forward, this is usually the process. You place the views on the sheets that are required for the delivery of printing PDF. But how we can delete the crap that we have from all the other views that are not needed? So, 
this the, the interface, uh, this basically the column that we add uh, during the weekend. And uh, these are all the projects with fake names that you can see. And this is the person that, and it's divided in two parts. One part is the average of all the Revit files in this project. This other one is the worst project that has all these views classified. So you can go through this and you can also sort it to understand which one needs to be prioritized. And right now we have 300 models, so that's half a lot tomorrow in the production. And these are the specific model where you can click on it, and we can show also later in the real time demo. And when you click on it, you're gonna see basically how this is gonna work. And the, the query that we have done for those models is taking consideration the time because we need to access the latest and greatest model and data. That's the number of sheets, because maybe there is some model that has three sheets that someone created, so it needs to be a, a, a considerable amount of sheets that can be for the production. The view names that have a specific uh, uh, conformity with the standard of the company, and then the historical data. So we want to analyze the 50 uh, previous uh, data stamp of the project. And then, as we said, the person does the view not on sheet. So all these data need to be aggregated in this person that you have seen. And these are the division of project and Revit file. So next. This is how we set up the infrastructure. It's basically, we harvest the, the, the data from Revit. It can be in our server, it can be in another server, it can be in Bean360, it can be in our computer. And we collect in this environment with MongoDB and we display, we can display also with React, because we have Facebook, uh, but uh, in, in this specific case we use Angular, JS. And uh, what we actually use that was uh, just released two weeks ago is uh, design automation, Revit.io, and there is also an accelerator next week, that allow you to actually operate in the Revit model hosted in Bean360 without open the model. That's saved thousands of amount of time and can perform this operation in real time, directly clicking on the button the web. So after this consideration, we can we need to perform right now the operation manually. So the user need to see the, the percentage and understand from the data which model need to be purged automatically without open the model. But this framework allows us to create something that can be also automated because we have the timestamp we can provide classification of the model and also time series. Moving on. Yeah, this one, uh, we want to add something related to the experience. So this weekend we worked on, um, Danny and I worked on putting together the, um, a, a Forge application that can open up the models and purge them of any views that are on sheets um, and then save back to some location. So we were able to build the application, uh, we uploaded it to Forge, Fortunately, we couldn't get it to download the files yet, uh, but we're close to getting that working. So. Okay. I think we can go also in the real time. No? Okay. Good. Okay. And you have 15 seconds left. <laughs> so the basic of what we have here as he was mentioning, HOK Mission Control was something that already existed. What we did was add to it and improve it. The first part by adding in our little paper here. Since by default it comes with no data, and we didn't really have live data to work with, so we added some tools to make it easier for someone just to experiment with the tool by coming here, generating a bunch of fake projects, and then you can actually see how the tool works. Inside of these fake projects, we've added in our QC status over here, as mentioned, this is the last Apollo prod. Uh, yeah, wonderful names we have everywhere. Um, these are the particular Revit models inside of this project, and this is telling us what is the, the likelihood we need to run to see on this. Kind of the percentage, the more likelihood we need to. We select one of these. It's going to pull up some more information about this particular Revit file, and then we can perform our audit and run these other scripts in Bill 360. Um, and that is everything. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Any questions from the judges?
Uh, oftentimes, the quality control on an integrated project delivery project has a component of the designer running in parallel with the constructability um, work being done by the general contractor and construction remarks largely from the owner. How well will this help all three of those work together? As you're finding items that are not going to make it to the final DD drawings, 